Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the problem number 1.30 from Dodo and that is related to kinematics. So let us first read out the problem and then we will solve the problem step by step. Using the conditions of the foregoing problem that is problem number 1.29, draw the approximate time dependence of moduli of the normal component of the acceleration and the tangential component of acceleration as well as of the projection of the total acceleration vector wv on the velocity vector direction. So let us say in the problem number 1.29 it was given that let us say this is the horizontal direction and this is the vertical direction which is represented by x and y and a body is thrown with the velocity of v0 at an angle of alpha and this is the acceleration in the negative y direction with the magnitude of g that is acceleration due to gravity. Now if we draw the path followed by the body then this is the parabolic path that will be the followed by the body and uh, at any particular instant of time let us say at uh, t is equal to t this is the tangent to the curve at this particular point and this is normal to the curve at this particular point. Now if we find out the velocity component in the x and y direction at this particular point then the horizontal direction we have the velocity that is v0 cos alpha and in the vertical direction we are having the velocity of v0 sin alpha. So we can write the initial velocity in the x direction is equal to v0 cos alpha and the initial velocity in the y direction we can write it as v0 sin alpha okay and at uh, the particular time instant of t let us say the velocity will be in the tangential direction always so let us say this is the resultant velocity vector direction and let us represent it as v vector and the x component velocity we can represent it as vx and vy okay and the angle between the resultant velocity and the horizontal direction let us take it as theta and it is the function of time because if we talk about at the initial position at this position the angle between the resultant velocity vector and the horizontal direction that is alpha and if we talk about at the highest point then at this particular point we are having the velocity in this direction and the horizontal direction is also in this particular direction basically the angle between the resultant vector and the horizontal direction is 0 degree so that's why it is varying from alpha to 0, zero degree at the maximum point so that means the angle between the resultant velocity vector and the horizontal direction that is varying with time so that's why it is a function of time now in order to find this particular theta let us uh, draw the vector velocity vector diagram so let us say this is vx this is vy and this is the resultant velocity vector and this particular angle is theta okay so in the x direction we know that there is no acceleration there is no acceleration in the x direction so we can write the final velocity vector in the x direction that is equal to initial velocity in the direction that is equal to v0 cos alpha and if we talk about the y component velocity at the time instant of t that we can write it as final velocity is equal to initial velocity in the x y direction minus acceleration into t as the acceleration is in the negative y direction that's why we have put minus here so we can write here vy is equal to uy is v0 sin alpha minus gt okay so this is the x component and y component velocity we got at the time instant of t now from here we can find 10 theta so from this uh, vector velocity diagram we can write 10 theta is equal to vy upon vx that is equal to v0 sin alpha minus gt whole divided by 
v naught cos alpha okay in the problem it is asking to find the normal and tangential component of acceleration so let us draw the path again let us say this is the path in which the body is traveling so let us say at this particular point this is the tangent to the curve at this point and this is the normal to the curve at this point okay and if we draw the acceleration vector so acceleration at any point is always in this particular direction which is the negative y direction and the magnitude is g that is acceleration due to gravity and we know that this particular angle is theta so this angle will be 90 minus theta and this particular angle will be theta so the normal component of the acceleration we can write it as g cos theta and the tangential component we can write it as g sin alpha okay let us assume at this particular direction is positive which is along the velocity vector and this particular direction is negative which is opposite to the velocity vector so we can write the normal component of the acceleration is equal to g cos theta and the tangential component of acceleration is equal to minus g sin theta because it is in the opposite direction of the velocity vector and as we have assumed that the velocity vector is in the positive direction okay so this we have got we have the expression for tan theta from here we have to find the expression of cos theta and sin theta so let us do that for example this is the triangle in which this particular angle is theta so from the tan theta we can say that let us say oa is v naught sin alpha minus gt and ob will be v naught cos alpha so from here we can write ab is equal to v naught cos alpha whole square plus v naught sin alpha minus gt whole square under root so we can write oa divided by ab that is equal to sin theta which can be written as what is oa that is v naught sin alpha minus gt whole divided by v naught cos alpha whole square plus v naught sin alpha minus gt whole square under root and cos theta we can write it as ob divided by ab that is equal to v naught cos alpha whole divided by v naught cos alpha whole square plus v naught sin alpha minus gt whole square under root so these are the expression of sin theta and cos theta we got now the x comp uh, normal component acceleration we can write it as g times cos theta and we can substitute cos theta from here and the magnitude of the acceleration vector we can find out after that we can write the tangential component of the acceleration that is minus g times sin theta and we can substitute sin theta from here and then we can find the magnitude of the tangential component of acceleration vector now from here we can get the normal component and the tangential component of acceleration vector now we can see here that the in the tangent direction we are having the velocity vector and the tangential component of velocity vector in the last part of the problem it is asking to find the total acceleration vector component in the velocity vector direction so basically we can write the velocity vector in, in the acceleration vector in the direction of velocity vector that we can write it as wt that is nothing but the tangential acceleration okay so we can see here that the function is very complex so i have used computer to use uh, to find uh, the e the plot for this equation so i have written the code in matlab matlab is a software where you can write the code and can solve the complex mathematical expression and uh, this particular i have written it wrong this is the normal acceleration 
normal acceleration and this is the tangential acceleration tangential acceleration so this particular blue blue graph blue graph is like this and it is uh, representing the the magnitude of the tangential acceleration so this is magnitude of tangential acceleration okay and this red one is representing the tangential acceleration tangential acceleration that is wv and this is representing the magnitude of wt and this is representing the wn magnitude okay so this is the variation of normal acceleration and the tangential acceleration we get so this is the code i have written so you can also uh, write uh, this kind of code and you can plot these kind of functions i hope the entire procedure is clear thank you